Today I'm going to share with you my favorite trick for making my thumbnail stand out, which is cutting myself out of the background and then adding a color filter in between. Let me show you how it's done. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Steckley and here I love to talk all things Instagram, YouTube, filmmaking and freelance. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post every Sunday, Tuesday and Friday. Ever since I made my video about how to make thumbnails that stand out on YouTube, I've had a couple requests to show exactly how I do the trick of cutting myself out from the background and then putting a color wash in between me, the subject, and the background. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today in Photoshop. Okay, so first things first, just open up Photoshop and then bring in the screen capture from your video that you wanna use as a thumbnail. This is the one I'm gonna to use today as an example. The first step here is to select the eraser tool. You can also just hit E on your keyboard to bring that up. Then what you're gonna do is, if you're on a Mac using a trackpad, double finger click or right click with any other mouse. And you wanna adjust the hardness of the brush to about 70 to 75%. This is gonna give the most natural effect when you start erasing um, the background around you. So once that's set, you're gonna go over to your layers panel. You're gonna right click on background and then you're gonna click duplicate layer. Hit okay. And now you've got two copies of the background. What I like to do is to hide the back background um, so that I only have the front layer visible and then I just start erasing. Another tip is you can double finger click or right click and change the size of your brush to be bigger. This is gonna make it go faster, but obviously not be as precise. So what I like to do is just go around the subject and I keep changing the brush depending on um, what area I'm working on. So for me, the hardest part is always erasing around my glasses. That's really tricky, but when I'm just going like down my arm or something, I can zoom out, make the eraser like huge, and then just do kind of one like sweep down. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if you were gonna try to cut yourself out of a background in a more precise way in Photoshop, there's definitely other strategies. But I think for making YouTube thumbnails that are eventually gonna end up pretty small on a screen, this kind of method is the most efficient um, for this process. So that's why I do it. So I like to go around and do sort of like a general sweep around the edge and then I go back in um, with the brush really small to do the fine details like the glasses. But as I said, don't get too stressed out about it because at the end people are gonna see it at about like this size. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you're done erasing around the perimeter of the subject, there's a much quicker way to just delete the remaining background and that is by selecting the uh, polygonal lasso tool and basically just draw really rough lines through the area that is now transparent and select yourself. Then what you're gonna do is right click or double finger click in the selected area and then select select inverse. That will select all of the rest of the photo that you didn't just draw around and then all you have to do is hit delete and now you have got yourself on a transparent background which is what you want. So now you can see if we go over to layers and just um, reveal the background it um, you know looks perfectly natural. There's You can't even tell there's two layers there. The next step is to go again to the layers panel and click create new layer. Next, what you're gonna do is go over and select the bucket tool. You can do that in the toolbar or just by pressing G on your keyboard. Then you are gonna pick a color. I like to use this green. And then you're just gonna fill in that entire layer with your color. So as you can see right now, it looks very Photoshopped, really unnatural and just this like stark, solid color and then me in front of it. So what we're gonna do is go again to the layers panel and just change the opacity from 100 to probably like 30 or 40%, depending on the effect that you want. And that's pretty much it. Now for a bonus tip, because uh, this is kind of bothering me, and this is how I edited this thumbnail originally. You can see that I've got this blanket on the couch in the background, which is kind of distracting. So what I'm gonna do is use the rectangular selection tool. I have the background layer selected. What I'm gonna do is cut this side, the right-hand side, and I'm gonna copy that layer 
Then I'm gonna go Command T to transform it. I'm gonna right click, flip horizontal, and then I'm just gonna drag it over here. As you can see, the part of me um, that would have been mirrored is hidden behind that front layer. And now I've got just a clean, continuous couch in the background. So there's lots of tricks like that that uh, you can do to make your thumbnails um, as minimal and as clear as possible. Of course, there's lots of other options like you can add text and now it can kind of like hide behind you or not, whatever you want. When you cut yourself out of the background like this, it leaves lots of options for making a really great standout thumbnail. So that's it. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you can kind of follow through and do this in Photoshop yourself to make your future thumbnails. If you do use this method, I would love to see how it turns out. So let me know in the comments below if you've done this with your thumbnails and I'll go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, then you will probably like this one, which is a tutorial all about making travel vlogs. So please go check that out. I would really appreciate it. But before you go, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Like I said, I post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. As always, I hope that you are having adventures and following your dreams, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.